Finally, we can have a proper Rubik's Cube video with original Rubik's products. The Rubik's 2x2 is called the Mini, the Rubik's 4x4 is called the Master, and there's no 3x3 today, but if I did have it, then it would be called Cube. Today, we'll start with the 2x2, which has the lower challenge level, or Niveau de Défi. I'm pretty sure there's a law in Canada about putting French on the packaging, so this is illegal. I'm calling out Rubik's and Spin Master games. I will be sending you guys a very strongly worded message to protect the laws of this great country. I think I realized why I don't usually use a knife. I'm scared I'm gonna cut myself and get the video demonetized. What? Ugh. All right, the Rubik's Mini. This is a lot lighter and smaller than I expected. Wow. Oh, it sucks. Yo, finger tricks, like... <laughs> Do I, do I have to be very careful, use the simplest finger tricks possible? This is not good. Do you guys want to make a prediction on where it can corner cut? Can it corner cut here? Oh no. <laughs> Tuck that in a little bit. Wow. Very, very difficult to corner cut. And reverse corner cutting. Okay. It's got a little... Mm, does it? It's got that much. Why did they bother to curve the pieces so much if it's not even gonna corner cut? It looks like it should slide down. All right, let's give this a scramble. Uh, one of the things you guys have actually mentioned in my old Rubik's videos is you like when the cube is really bad because you get to watch what I'm doing in slow motion. So let's do this solve in slow motion because that's probably the only way I can do it. So we're going to solve the red layer and then that wasn't as bad as I thought. Okay, like the, the corner cutting is insane. It's insane how much I'm relying on corner cutting when turning a two by two. All right, here is a good two by two and this is how I'm supposed to be turning. I lied, I just messed up really bad. The way I treat two by twos is I expect to roughly be able to turn from anywhere and that's not happening. So it makes turning that should look a lot smoother look like this. Okay, maybe that's not very fitting for a Rubik's brand video. I just grabbed the first one I saw. All right, I get one solve to determine how good this is. Uh, you guys are not gonna like how I do this because I don't remember the two by two algorithm. Okay, D moves. Uh, yep, not even faster than my official three by three time. Instead of this, let's try a better and properly sized cube and see if I do any better. Okay. Of course. I mean, technically this was $8 and this was $10, so I can't expect too much. Also, I think why this feels so weird is because the mechanism is a little whack. There's a screw on this side, but not on any of the other sides. I am really curious why there's just a screw on one side, so I'm gonna take it apart. Ideally, if the screw was on every side, that means I could loosen it and maybe give it better corner cutting. But, uh, all right, does the whole thing feel looser? or does just the orange side feel, okay, yeah. <laughs> oh no. So this is the cube pretty much fully disassembled. Just kidding. This red blue corner piece is just part of the core. It takes up three center and three edge spots. So there's not that many pieces here. There's only one center that actually has a screw with a spring, which means this is the only one that has any bit of elasticity. The other ones don't, they're just completely stuck in place, which I guess is why you can't have corner cutting. How corner cutting works is you need the cube to be really loose because otherwise there's not enough room for the pieces to create these giant holes to slide past each other. But the trade-off, when you have cubes that are really loose, it's easier for pieces to come out by accident. I'll deal with this later. The main design philosophy I've seen with Rubik's brand cubes is they want it to be beginner friendly. Beginners don't turn that fast, so you don't need it to be amazingly good performing. You just need it to not pop because beginners think that it's broken and don't know how to put it back together. And now we know why Rubik's brand cubes cannot corner cut. Some of you may remember I did get a Rubik's 2x2 before, and that one was much better, but that was when Rubik's partnered with GAN instead of partnering with Spin Master Games, whatever that is. That cube was actually pretty good, and no, the high quality tiles did not fade in the sun. 
And this thing is what we got when Rubik's partnered with Hasbro. I'm not making it any louder. This is just how the cube sounds. Let's move on. Think you're a Rubik's master? Yeah, I kind of do. I've beaten the 3x3 cube so many times. I think it's time to step up to the next level. Oh. Okay, I gotta say, this 4x4 looks nice and is a better size than the last one. This is the old Rubik's 4x4. It is an unreasonable size. And the turning on this thing was not good. Oh yeah, and it could do this. <laughs> I'm gonna put this away before I start to feel sick. There is approximately a 0% chance that this one is worse. Yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> Yo, yo, this turning the inner layers is better than the two by two. I have some periods of really good turning. Like this, how is this four by four actually kind of good? Okay, like I'm not saying that this actually beats a good four by four speed cube. You, you can just tell from the way I'm turning. Obviously I'm making tons of mistakes, but it's probably good enough that I wouldn't average too much worse with it. I apologize to those of you who wanted to watch me turn in slow motion and see what I'm doing, but I am going to turn at a relatively okay speed because this cube is not too bad. Okay, so these two are gonna join together. I have my two other white pieces here and these yellows, I'll try to pair them as I make the white. So it's gonna be like this. Uh, okay, now we're on to edge pairing. I just realized I was looking through the camera and that's why I was like, oh, that's why I can't look ahead. So now, um, now I'm looking, oh geez. Now I'm looking around the camera, which makes this much easier. The nice thing about being forced to turn a little bit slower is the look ahead can get a little bit easier, but I'm still more just frustrated that I can't turn at my maximum speed. but F2L feels nice when you don't have to pause. <laughs> okay, there's PLL parity. Oh no, slice moves. Oh. The tiles definitely look really nice. I don't like how the cube gets all flimsy and stuff and makes it look a bit uglier. I wish there were magnets in it, but you, you can only ask for so much. One thing I really appreciate is that it's around 60 millimeters, which kind of does match an average speed cube size. Wow. You can really see how dark these shades are when you put a speed cube next to it. Yeah, I didn't notice. It just looked normal to me. That looks normal until you do this. To end, I thought I'd do something fun. I'm gonna do a two x two to four x four relay on all the Rubik's brand cubes. But before I do that, I am going to do them all on speed cubes. I get a bit of time to inspect here. And during this time, let me know in the comments what you think I'll get on this relay and on that relay. Okay, ready, set, go. Every time I transition between cubes, I forget what I was doing, like what I planned, but okay, this should be fine. Whew. What? What a strange case. What the heck? <laughs> oh. Go watch that in slow-mo if you didn't see what happened. That was so crazy. Yeah, it's uh, not looking good for the Rubik's game. You can see them shaking with fear. No, that's just because they don't have magnets inside of them. Okay, Team Rubik's has absolutely no shot here. I'm just gonna be honest, but we're still gonna try our best. Okay. Uh. Sorry for not knowing the 2x2 version of that elg. Sorry for this being really loud. <laughs> Jeez. I, I, I remember this cube being a little bit better, honestly. <laughs> okay. Whew. Is 
You know, not being able to turn properly can actually mess up your look ahead sometimes. Like it helps that you're turning slower, but it also is really throwing me off when I have to redo moves that I thought I already did because the cube just messed up. Uh, okay. No, and I even got parody. Something popped. Not gonna lie, that pop really threw me off. Okay. Um. <laughs> Look, Team Rubik's was its own downfall. It, it definitely... I already solved this 4x4 once in this video. Just pretend that that's the time that I got. I really don't want to do this relay again.